Hello everyone, this is Miss Adler. I uh, wanted to show you how to make the cat and the bird. I put out a, a video by my friend who read the book, The Cat and the Bird, and um, she, we're also going to do a demonstration on how to do this image um, from the book. So this is done in a crayon, only crayon, but I'm also gonna show you a technique using the markers like we did with Chris Upton's graffiti hearts, watercolor markers, and um, we'll take it from there. You'll also see that I um, have invisible lines here so you guys can get the placement of your, your cat. So I'm using a, a piece of copy paper. Again, you can use any paper. Um, we can use any type of colors. If you don't have them, that's okay. Um, you have markers, crayons, colored pencils, anything will, even a ballpoint pen um, will be okay. And so first, first put your name on your paper. Please put your name on your paper. And then I'm gonna turn it over. And I'm going to fold my paper in half. And I'm going to fold it in half again. So I will have four quarters. You want to have the cat have the same things on each side almost symmetrical, almost mirror-like. So we have these four uh, spaces here, four windows, and mainly it's not just for symmetry, but for you guys to cover the entire page with your cat. So I'm going to draw a U, a big gigantic U, um, from the top left all the way down to the top right. So I'm gonna draw this big line and it's gonna curve down this U and I'm gonna go all the way back up. So the next thing that we're gonna do is this top half and uh, it, for the cat's ears. So I'm gonna start from the center of my invisible lines where they uh, connect and I'm going to put my pencil or my finger um, somewhere in the middle of the top in the in the middle of your paper and I'm going to draw a curved line that goes from the uh, top of the U down to where my finger is or the dot and I'm going to go one and then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to connect those two and don't worry if it goes off the page it's fine now we're going to draw this is the head of the cat and his ears and right in the middle, I'm going to draw two uh, curved lines um, from the middle uh, to the other side. So he, the cat has really big eyes. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I'm gonna draw the bottom um, stretched out U um, to connect, do the same. And I'm going to draw two more curved lines going vertical and connect. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to do his nose. And his nose is heart shaped, just like in the book and also in the Paul Klee painting. And I'm going to draw from, uh, from the bottom of the U to the center. Uh, I'm going to put my finger somewhere in the in the middle here and I'm going to draw a um, from here a curved line like a, an M and from the I to the bottom of the M on each side I'm going to draw two diagonal lines. So I'm going to make that heart um, by just connecting um, with diagonal lines on the bottom. And from the bottom of the heart-shaped nose, I'm gonna draw a curved line downward towards the bottom of the U to make his mouth. 
and from the nose, the triangular nose and the heart, I'm going to just draw a stretched out S line, very stretched out for his whiskers. I'm going to do the same thing here. Very stretched out curve line, three lines for the whiskers. And now we're going to do uh, the bird. And in the painting, there's a circle right on the top that um, could be anybody's guess. It could be um, the sun, the moon, um, uh, some a door, you know, knob, something. And on the top of his brain is this bird. And um, you don't have to draw the bird if you want. Um, I, I am dying to have sushi. So I feel like I, I haven't had access to a Japanese restaurant. So maybe I'll um, draw um, a, a, a sushi roll or something um, for, for myself. Um, you know, it's a couple of, um, some rolls here, um, for my sushi, um, and it's on a leaf. Yeah. So, um, and some soy sauce and chopsticks. Um, but if you want to draw the bird, you would draw a, um, a curved line or a, a loop that kind of looks like a fish. And I'm gonna um, connect those two lines. And then I'm gonna draw um, another U right on top, and then a V for his um, beak and eyes and a diagonal line. And again, an upside down V with a line inside to make your bird. Um, that is how I did on the um, side here with um, the cat and the bird. And so um, the last thing is his neck and that's right underneath the um, U. So I drew two lines going on each side. Um, the next thing that we're going to do uh, is color and it will be warm colors versus cool colors. Uh, see you then.